we would be continuing with our presentation on such we are going to now discuss about tetrahedral and octahedral voids we have an 2d arrangement of spheres and we name it as an a layer now when i have this 2d arrangement of the spheres which are placed one above the other i see that there are two types of voids being formed the first void is a triangular void which is having the apex upwards and i also have one more void which is triangular in shape but with the apex downwards if i place a blue colored sphere on the triangular void having the apex upwards i see that subsequently all the triangular voids with the apex upwards are filled up if i place a blue colored sphere on the triangular void having the apex downwards you will see that all the triangular voids having the apex downwards would be subsequently be filled up now when i completely place the blue spheres above the first layer i see that there are two types of voids being formed the first void is a tetrahedral void and the other one is the octahedral void now let us discuss about these voids the first one being the tetrahedral void the tetrahedral void if you see it consists of a colored sphere and it has three blue spheres above it if i join the centers of the blue spheres along with the colored sphere center what i get is basically a tetrahedron and therefore this is basically a tetrahedral structure and consisting of four spheres let us now focus on the octahedral void the octahedral void if you notice consists of three colored spheres i join the centers of these three spheres and i also observe that there are three blue spheres above the colored spheres and i join the centers of the blue spheres what do i notice is that it forms an octahedron octahedron basically means that there are two triangular voids which are placed one above the other with the one triangle having an apex which is opposite to that of the other triangle so in this case we have an blue color triangle having the apex upwards and then we have the red color triangle which is having the apex downwards so what we get is an octahedral void and it consists of six spheres we again go back to the same arrangement of spheres and this time we focus on the yellow colored sphere i can clearly see that there are six voids which are surrounding the yellow colored sphere there are two triangular voids the first triangular void has an apex upwards and i name it as an a i also see to it that there are two more triangular voids having the apex upwards so they are named as a the other void again is a triangular void but the apex is downwards and hence i name it as b so if i see carefully there are six voids of which three are a voids and the three are b voids if i cover the a void with a blue colored sphere that is having the triangular void having the apex upwards we see that subsequently all the triangular voids having the apex upwards are filled up and if you notice carefully again the a void which was a triangular void having the apex upwards has now been converted to an tetrahedral void and the b void which is having the triangular apex downwards has been now converted to an octahedral voids so if i just focus on the yellow colored sphere 
I can see that there are three tetrahedral voids and three octahedral voids which are surrounding the sphere. Now because this arrangement is a 3D close packing. Now 3D close packing basically means that you will have a layer of spheres which will be above the yellow colored sphere as well as below the yellow colored sphere. And because it's an crystal arrangement, it is a uniform arrangement, what we see is that you will have similar voids which will be above the yellow colored sphere and they will be similar voids which will be formed or created below the yellow colored sphere. So I can say that there will be total of six tetrahedral voids and there would be six octahedral voids which will be around the sphere because it's a 3D type of an arrangement. There would be closed pack layers of spheres which will be above and below the concerned layer. But I see that there is one more void being formed and that void is the tetrahedral void. Because again, this is a 3D type of an arrangement, I would be having a tetrahedral void which would be formed above the yellow colored sphere. At the same time, if I place, if I place the layers below the yellow colored sphere, I would be having one more tetrahedral void which will be formed below the yellow colored sphere. And I can say that there would be total of 8 tetrahedral voids which will be surrounding the yellow colored sphere. Now the next question is, how many octahedral voids and tetrahedral voids are present per sphere? So for that we have a formula that is the number of octahedral voids around the sphere and the number of spheres which are around the octahedral void. That comes to 6. There are, as we know, there are 6 octahedral voids which are around the sphere. And we also know that the octahedral void is made up of 6 spheres. So the number of spheres around the octahedral void would be 6 and the answer comes to 1. Similarly, for tetrahedral voids, we know that there are 8 tetrahedral voids which will be around the yellow sphere and tetrahedral void is made up of four spheres. So we have the number of spheres around the void to be as four. So it came comes to eight upon four that is two. Now by this we can easily conclude that the number of octahedral voids will be same as the number of spheres and the number of tetrahedral voids will be twice the number of spheres. And we have one more conclusion that is there are six octahedral voids which will be surrounding a sphere and there will be eight tetrahedral voids which will be surrounding the concerned sphere. Well, close pack structure that is AB, AB type of an arrangement. We have the A layer and we name it as an A layer. We now draw an hexagon. Let us focus on the hexagon. I see that there are seven spheres which are present inside the hexagon and I name it as an A layer. Now let us place a blue colored sphere above the annular void having the apex upwards. When I place a first layer, I see that all the triangular voids having the apex upwards are filled out. Now let us focus how many spheres are present inside the hexagon. I see that there are total of three spheres which are present inside the hexagon and therefore I will name it as a B layer because it, it is different from the first layer. Again, I get two types of voids, the tetrahedral void and the octahedral void. Now let me place the third layer above the B layer. This time I would be covering the tetrahedral voids. So when I place the third layer, I see that the structure is similar to that of the first layer, that is the A layer, because I am getting seven spheres which are present inside the hexagon. Now if I keep 
upon placing the fourth layer, it is seen that the arrangement would be repeated. And therefore, this arrangement would be called as an ABAB type of an arrangement. Now the question is, what would be the coordination number? Now let us focus on the red colored sphere. I can clearly see that in the same layer as that of the red colored sphere, I am having six spheres which are surrounding the red colored sphere. Therefore, the coordination number becomes 6. But if I again see carefully, there are three blue colored spheres which are touching the red sphere. Therefore, 7, 8 and 9. If I place the fourth layer above the red colored sphere, I will see to it that there would be again three spheres which would be touching the red colored sphere. And therefore, the coordination will be 12. And hence, I can say that whenever you have an hexagonal closed packing, the coordination number would be 12. We go for the next arrangement that is ABC type of an arrangement, also called as a cubic closed pack structure. So let us go back to our arrangement that is an A layer. I have been drawn hexagon. Now let us focus on the spheres which are present inside the hexagon. I can see to it that there are seven spheres and if I join the centers of the spheres, I would be getting an hexagon. Now let us place the blue colored sphere. I see that there are three spheres which are present inside the hexagon. And therefore, I name it as a B layer because the structure is different or the arrangement is different as that of the first layer. I get two types of voids, tetrahedral and octahedral. In the hexagonal closed packing, I had covered the tetrahedral voids. So this time I would be covering the octahedral voids. I see that there are only three spheres which are present inside the hexagon. And therefore, I name it as a C layer. Why C layer? Because in the B layer, the apex was upwards and in the C layer, the three spheres, if I join the centers, the apex would be downwards. Now, I cover with the fourth layer. Now when I place the fourth layer above the C layer, I see that there are again seven spheres inside the hexagon. And this structure is similar to that of the A layer and therefore I name it as an A layer. If I place one more layer above the A layer, I observe that the arrangement would be same as that of the B layer and therefore this arrangement would be called as an ABC, ABC type of an arrangement. Let us see the coordination number now. I can see that there are six spheres which are surrounding the red sphere. And I can also see that there are three spheres which are below the red sphere and touching the red sphere. So the total coordination would be 9. If I place the B layer above the red sphere, I will see that there are three spheres touching the red sphere and therefore the coordination will be 12. Now this type of an arrangement of ABC, ABC type of an arrangement would be called as a cubical closed pack arrangement and it has a coordination number which is 12.